So we're heading into eclipse season again, and eclipses are always make, <laughs> make energies more intense. Right now we're dealing with a lot of super intense energy, just 2020 in general. So what is this, um, you know, November, December eclipse season going to look like? What does it mean for us? I am just uh, doing this video to share some of the insights as I've explored my own Akashic records that have come through to hopefully help to shed some light on this uh, upcoming eclipse. Um, we've got one in um, the, at the end of November here, uh, November 29th to 30th, we've got a lunar eclipse and we've got a solar eclipse that we're looking forward to on December 14th. Okay, so um, just just sharing some insights here. Okay, so in general, what I'm getting about these eclipses, especially the starting into this eclipse season with the lunar eclipse happening, of course, around the full moon, well, eclipses are going to make that full moon energy even more intense. And right now it's a, a, a full moon in Gemini that we're looking at. And uh, Gemini, I happen to have my moon in Gemini. Gemini, so for me, this is like a super, super duper intense eclipse. But um, Gemini has a lot to do with um, ideas and with kind of this creative uh, ideas, you, you know, implementing ideas. Um, communication is a big one and also polarity okay because we've got the twins right and we're seeing a lot a lot of polarity in in uh, just the general society right now and so kind of what I'm getting is that we may see issues around polarity uh, even maybe even more intensified as well as um, you know just ideas but one of the biggest things that I'm getting for this eclipse is that it's a lot of it is about truth coming forward and um, also free will choice right and so we're all going to be to a certain extent asked to really face our truths and to choose Okay, whether we're going to, um, you know, if, we, if any areas that we haven't been in our truth, we've been on this kind of uh, the hamster wheel, right, of whatever it is that the loops that we get into, right, that bring us down. And so this eclipse is a, a really, really powerful juncture in which we may be really asked to face that and given the choice to, are we going to, are we going to make a change and or and and you know break out of that cycle or are we going to choose to kind of cling to the old paradigm and the apparent safety that is attached to that and in that case we're going to go back onto that loop again it's sort of like you know replaying the record that's been playing over and over so um you know this we may see this happening on the collective level or on the individual level or both. And um, so one of the biggest things coming forward is to really keep an open mind. And because it's really, sometimes we find our truth through discovering what's not our truth and actually having the courage to, you know, just face that and basically reject what's not our truth, you know, step away from it, turn away from it and, and move forward, right? And, you know, and so this may shape up as sometimes it requires us to take a good hard look at our ingrained beliefs or kind of entrenched relationships, or the ones that make us feel secure, or, um, you know, the ones that have really been drilled into our minds for whatever reason. And if you're finding yourself, you know, struggling with a, you know, something going on in your life, whether it's a job or a relationship or, um, you know, some aspects, maybe it could be clutter in the home, I, I you know, whatever it is for you, um, you know, just take a good look at that. And where might there be some really ingrained, especially security beliefs, you know, that 
where might you be asked to kind of rethink, okay, because Gemini is really, really mental, maybe rethink some of the things that you have taken as gospel truth <laughs> and see how they may be affecting, you know, how things are playing out in your life, right? And uh, so this is kind of like, let's bring out the sacred cows and see which ones <laughs> maybe aren't so sacred, right? Um, and then the other thing that um, that's coming forward, and I may just read a little bit about, you know, kind of what came through word for word for me is that um, Okay, so they're saying anytime light enters into darkness, there's the opportunity for solace, right? And this is where we're looking at kind of the, the, this upcoming juncture in, in um, December where it's a really dark time of year, at least in the Northern hemisphere. And this is really kind of symbolic. Of, there's a lot of darkness on the planet right now. And well, they're saying there is a deep blanket of darkness covering the earth at this time. And they're saying really to look for the light, okay? Um, but I wanna read this passage to you. It says, sharing the collective light will become more and more important as those who have liberated themselves will be the bearers of light and the way shores, okay? So for some people, this eclipse is going to be just a really kind of real breakthrough if you've been on the spiritual path and or even if you you know are just coming into awareness of that this is the opportunity for a real breakthrough of you know really stepping into your truth and claiming that for yourself and being this light right um for others it may just trigger a uh, you know, trigger that big spiritual dark night of the soul, right? <laughs> so this may manifest in different ways for different people. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the collective, right? Um, as truths get uncovered and to see how they are either accepted and then allowing for change to happen or rejected, okay? And then staying in the same loops. Um, there's a beautiful, beautiful passage that they gave me about coming together as, um, here they are, okay. So they're telling us, say, they're saying you have a vast repository of light codes at your disposal, okay? So at this time, we are receiving a lot of light codes, even though it may seem dark, there's a lot of light influx coming in. There's a lot of support coming in um, spiritually. And if, you know, from across the universe coming in and we've got access to that right now, okay? So, but it's a matter of really choosing to see that and looking for the light, okay? Um, and they're saying choosing light is an act of will. So we got to really work at this sometimes, right? And sometimes, ironically, the really working at it really means to just lighten up <laughs> and, and allow yourself to laugh and allow yourself to play it have fun, okay? Because there's so much right now that, uh, you know, that we're being told to sit and be serious and, and, <laughs> and you know, don't, don't have fun. Um, but really, sometimes it's like, well, you really need to choose to buck the, buck the trend there, um, okay? So as you access this light information, you actually become this information, right? Remember that our DNA is up being upgrading, upgraded, we're, we're changing. Okay, so the libraries of light are actually interactive and express themselves through you. So you, you are here to embody light as you, um, as, as you, incorporate more and more of these light codes into your astral bodies, into your etheric bodies, right? And into your actual body, your physical body, your emotions, um, you become more whole and you shine more brightly. Okay, so think of yourself um, as, a, as a little light shining, okay? And ultimately, uh, we're gonna be starting, and a lot of us are already doing this, starting to um, access these libraries of light as a group effort, right? So if you're, 
you will know this when it happens, okay? Um, and what this happens is like when you're really connecting with those that are in your soul tribe and start, it starts to shine the light a little bit more brightly. Um, they say that this creates cathedrals of light upon the surface of the earth. And as we build these cathedrals, and this has to do with kind of connecting with each other, right, in whatever way, whether it's telepathically or online or actually in person, this connection is super, super important with your soul tribe. And at this time, you may find that there may be people, even in the light community, that you are being guided to just kind of maybe step back from a little bit. Um, and that's because it's, you know, your, if you're finding that happens, sometimes we just need to communicate. There may be miscommunications, but other times we really need to step back from certain relationships or certain situations. And that's because it's like you, the lessons that those were here for you, um, you know, to bring you, you, and if it's another person involved, both of you, right, those lessons are coming to a close. Okay. And by stepping back, if you're guided to do that, you're going to be opening up to a lot, just like your next level. And this may be, you know, real soul tribe um, people that you're, you're going to be connecting with and you're, that you're going to be creating these cathedrals of light with. Um, so as we create these cathedrals of light, their influence grows and the light will spread along energy lines from center to center of these, whether it's communities or, you know, however that actually ends up looking. And we're going to be creating a network of living light across the earth. And they tell me that this is the process of implementing the light codes that are coming in, of bringing them from blueprint into physical form. We are meant to embody light, okay? They said this is the process of creation. It's true embodiment. So this is the Christ essence coming down and really, um, you know, and it's happening through us. We are the Christ, right? <laughs> we hold the Christ within us. And so this is something that they're telling me is to not try to persuade others, right? Um, because it's really easy to say, hey, you know, <laughs> um, if, if you see people stuck in patterns that you've been stuck in, it, it's really easy to want to be a savior, right? And, you know, it's okay to give advice or whatever, especially if it's just general advice, but to try to persuade a particular person, you need to do this or whatever, that's more kind of controlling. So the, the, the encouragement is to they, they say that trying to impose a will like that will likely trigger what they call ascension traps, which means that it triggers, you know, whatever is holding you, it can happen within yourself or, or the other person down into illusion is going to really um, kind of, when you try to really persuade a person or even putting yourself into light, <laughs> then it tends to kind of make the dark entanglement grip onto even tighter, okay? So they're saying just simply embody the light. And this may even just be for within yourself, um, you know, rather it's, it's so easy to get into this kind of um, very intense pursuing, pursuing, pursuing spiritual ascension. And I think what they're saying is just relax and just be, um, and they say, when you embody the light and just simply embody it, just be, you will become a beacon for others to follow. And they're saying like a firefly, be like fireflies lighting the way through the dark night. And I found this beautiful photo of um, fireflies. And this, this is in Japan in 2016. And I thought it was just gorgeous because I think it really illustrates. It almost looks like a cathedral in this beautiful woods here and just all the little points of light, you, you know, and just looking at <laughs> how each one of us can shine our own light. Um, and this, this, again, is not always easy, right? It is an act of will, and it's also an act of release. And it's also just an act of <laughs> really inviting in grace, right? And just a big way to do that is gratitude. 
and for looking for the little things, looking for the little signs, the little encouragements, the, the beauty is a huge looking for the beauty. I think the more and more and more we can start finding beauty in everything that we come across, or where's the beauty in it? Where's the beauty? Where's the beauty? That's going to be huge, right? Because again, you know, these, these are <laughs> very interesting times. Uh, most, many of us are finding them very challenging. Um, and, you know, um, it's, it's really a choice, right? And it's, it's, it's really, it comes down to the wire. It's down to us now. It's like, you can't point your finger at anything else. It really is each individual human and the little choices that we make throughout the day and the, the courage that it takes to begin to more and more choose truth or choose at least to let go of that, which you know is not truth. Because sometimes truth is elusive, but by letting go of that which you know is not truth it brings us closer to the truth um they say to look for light when you find it invite it in and it's more and more important for us to find that light within just like a firefly and to be the light and uh you know that's what we train for that's what we've come here for and so it's really a time of celebration a time to rejoice that hey you know what else what do we have to lose what do we have to lose, right? We can stay collectively and even individually, we can stay in misery, right? Or we can choose to launch into the great unknown, shine our light and see what happens. And in my experience, and I, I'm fighting these battles too, right? I'm right now at this juncture where I'm really being asked to let go of uh, something that's been very stable in my life for a while. Um, and it is a launching into the great unknown and it's terrifying <laughs> but it's also exhilarating because i know having been through similar launches in the past that once you do really spread your wings and shine your light the whole universe comes forward to support you it really does okay so i just i want to send the biggest blessings and the biggest hugs to all of you. We're all doing this together and uh, just be brave. Um, you know, look for the light, look for the beauty and laugh because <laughs> what else can you do, right? <laughs> so take it easy. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, do share it. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, so you can just click the link below. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications of new videos. And we'll catch you again soon.